I am finished with one set of blocks and I've got to start new colors for the next set. So I'm going to show you how to work in the tails of the colors you're finishing with and also the tails of the new color as you knit so you don't have to do it afterwards. So for instance in this, in my little sample I'm doing, I'm finishing with one row here and I'm about to tie in new colors for the next row above. And if you do this as you work, these were all done while I was working, then you can just trim the ends down and you're good to go. You don't have to work in all these tails after the fact. So the way you're going to do this, <coughs> I've chosen my new colors. So I'm going to do a plum block up here, the ecru main color here, and then I've got a green I'm going to tie in here. So I've got to knit my little edge stitches first and I'm going to start this out showing you how to do this if you hold the yarn in your left hand and you knit continental. And then in the next block over I'm going to show you how to carry these yarns if you uh, throw or knit English style. But if you, so hang on and I'll do the throwing over here in this block. But in this first block, I'm going to show you if you hold the yarn in your left hand and you knit continental. I've just finished knitting my little edge stitches here. Now I'm just going to pick up my new color and start to knit with it. Leave yourself a nice little bit of tail there. And just kind of hold it down and knit that first stitch. And then it's the tail of your new yarn that you want to wrap around the stitch next to it so that you've um, secured it. All right, And then this is the tail I'm going to work in. So I'm going to act like I'm going to knit the stitch. So put the needle through the stitch. Before I wrap with my working yarn, I'm going to come around and also counterclockwise, I'm going to knit you know, act like I'm going to knit with my tail, then wrap my knitting yarn around and then unwrap the tail yarn and pull the stitch through and then knit one stitch normally. Again, like you're going to knit, put your needle through, take your tail yarn, wrap it around knitwise, then wrap your knitting yarn, unwrap the tail, pull it through, knit one stitch. Now, needle in, wrap the tail, wrap the knitting yarn, unwrap the tail, and knit a stitch. Again, the needle's in, wrap the tail, wrap the knitting yarn, unwrap the tail, and knit the next stitch. So there, if you've got a little bit of a tail there, you can trim it down. I trim it down to maybe an inch. It's not, it's not trimmed way down, but at least I'm not going to mistake that for knitting yarn and pick it up and start to knit with it. That's kind of the point of trimming them down now at this point. Um, and now I'm ready to tie in the next color and I'm going to do this throwing, th um, carrying this yarn in my right hand. So you can knit this first stitch just to kind of get yourself oriented. And just hold it down and knit that first stitch. And then you're going to go behind here. And this is, it gets a little crazy, but here's the tail of the stitch that I'm, that I just knitted. And that's what you want to make sure you wrap that around the yarn of the stitch next door. So that is the tail that I want to work in. So I'm just going to kind of hold that with my left hand. The other tail we want to work in is the yarn, the pink yarn from the square we just finished. So I'm also going to find that and just hold it off there with my left hand. You can just kind of hold them there between your fingers with your left hand. Now let's go back to the yarn I'm knitting with. Actually get ready to knit. All right, so I've knitted the first stitch. And if you throw, this is a little different because you're going to go through the stitch like you're going to knit it. 
before you knit it, you are going to lay the one or the other. You've got two of them, so you're going to do them one at a time. This one goes clockwise or the opposite way that you wrap to knit. You're going to lay it up the other way. So if you lay it from the right over the needle toward the left, then knit the stitch and then unwrap with the tail. So again, put the needle through like you're going to knit. This time I'm going to the opposite, so I've got to do the pink. And I'm just going to get my needle in there, lay it over the needle from right to left over the top of the needle, wrap my knitting yarn, unwrap the tail, pull the stitch through. Again, like you're going to knit, this time I'm doing ecru, lay it over the needle, wrap my knitting yarn, unwrap the tail, and pull it through. This time it's the pink, lay it over the needle, wrap my actual knitting stitch, unwrap the pink or the tail, and pull it through. So again, like you're going to knit, lay the, the yarn across the opposite way. Then come around with your knitting yarn, unwrap the tail, pull it through. Tail goes over, yarn comes around, unwrap the tail. And you just do one at a time, just trading off. And over here, this last stitch, my pink tail is pretty short, but I'll lay it over there, come around with my knitting yarn, and unwrap my tail. And this one, the pink tail is already really short. There's my ecru tail. I can trim that down a little bit. Again, just so that you don't mistake it for knitting yarn. And there is the color I've just finished with. And that's how you do it if you um, throw. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to Continental. And this one I've got my, I'll have my green tail to work in, but I also have, this is the block I just finished. So I've got the yarn from the block I've just finished. So that's going to be that tail that I've got to work into. So I'll pick this guy up first and just knit the first stitch with my green that I'm going to add in. Again, you want to take the tail of the yarn you're adding, wrap it around. There's the yarn that, I'm at, that I just added in over here. So you want to take that tail and wrap it up around that yarn, and that's what links them behind. Right? And then here is my other tail that comes from there. So again, I figured out which are my tails, wrapped them around to link them, and these are the yarns I'm going to be working in. So I've knitted my first stitch, act like I'm going to knit my second stitch, and then I've got two. So I'll just start with the green one there, wrap the green. Again, it's like I'm going to knit with it, then actually knit, unwrap the green. Next one will be ecru. So I'm going to take my tail yarn, wrap it around, wrap my actual yarn, unwrap the tail, bring the stitch through. Do the opposite one now. I've got my needle through like I'm going to knit. Tail, real yarn, unwrap the tail. And then opposite, I've got to do ecru now. Wrap the tail, wrap the yarn, unwrap the tail. Again, this one will be green, so I'll wrap the tail, wrap my knitting yarn, unwrap my tail. You just trade off. If you've got two tails to work in, it kind of braids them in behind there, and it holds them really well, so you don't have to go back and do this after the fact. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. I've got one more to do. The yarn. I've got my needle through. Wrap the tail. Wrap the yarn. Unwrap the tail. 
done. And now this final little area is going to be this yarn that I traveled across. So that's how you, that you use the same method. You know, the yarn was over here and I needed it over here. So I just traveled it across along with my green tail. And now it's over here where I need it. So you can kind of plan ahead and use the same technique to get yarns over to where you need them. Um, if that had been a tail, I would have just trimmed it. But that's still working yarn. This green tail, again, I can snip that down a little bit just so I know it's not, I don't accidentally pick it up and work with it. And then these will all get kind of tightened up as you go. But there you go. Now I'm ready to knit my next segment. And I'll show you again what that looks like on the back side of these. You can see how two colors were twined across and they're going to hold just fine. I don't mind tails <laughs> sticking out a little bit in the backs. I think it looks kind of fun. Um, but you could trim those down a little bit closer if you wanted. But that's how to do it. So you do it as you work and then when you're finished you don't have any tails to work in. <laughs>